All right, welcome back, YouTubers. Welcome to my very messy desk. Bag of guitar picks here that I haven't moved in about three months. Um, anyway, yeah, two pickups here for you. Um, I picked these up, well, two different places, but I had them signed, autographed at the same place. I was at a sci-fi convention about two weeks ago, and they had, uh, well, they had four or five guests. There was only two guests that really uh, interested me. Um, the first one is... I'll show you the autograph right off the bat and see if you guys can pick it out. Gunman Rule. To Shane, Gunman Rule, Dean Hagland, uh, Langley from The Lone Gunman, uh, the three ner one of the three nerdy guys that uh, help, uh, help uh, David Duchovny out on the X-Files. I love the X-Files. This is the PlayStation 1 game here. I've got to change the case on it. Sticker there. Dent there. But the discs are mint. Uh, I haven't had a chance to play this yet, but I did get it signed. Really cool. Really cool guy. Uh, talked to me for about 10 minutes about uh, conspiracies and whatnot. Uh, I bought a DVD off... <clears throat> sorry, I bought a DVD off him tour, Blu-ray, that uh, that he put out. Talking about some of the uh, some of the modern-day conspiracy theories that are there going around the world and whatnot. Cool guy. Um, he mentioned that Chris Carter, when this game came out, or was being produced, uh, didn't want any gunplay no guns in this in this game um, so for that reason David Duchovny basically goes around kicking the shit out of everybody his words not mine uh, yeah kicking them literally now I'm not sure if that's true I haven't played the game in uh, well since it was originally released I haven't had a chance to play this copy yet but uh, so if you guys are ever wondering why there's no guns in this game that's why Chris Carter did not want them in there which is pretty cool. So, yeah, really great. Uh, you know, I'm really happy to have the game alone, but to get it signed, excellent. Now, see if you guys can pick out this signature. Not that easy. This is a Wii U copy of Epic Mickey 2. Picked it up at EB Games. Full price. Um, what are you going to do? I wanted a copy to get signed. Uh, this is um, Dominic Keating from Star Trek Enterprise. Now you're wondering why the hell I got a Disney game signed by him. Um, in both of these Epi Mickey, Epic Mickey games, he played the Gremlin Prescott. So I figured, yeah, why not? I got an, I got an 8x10 signed by him. And uh, figured I'd get him to sign this. And he, he, was, uh, he was a cool guy too. He stood and uh, talked to me for a little while. He mentioned that, actually, actually when I walked up to him, I said, uh, how you doing? Have you ever signed one of these before? And he looked at it and kind of puzzled. And he said, no, this is the first time, and you know what? I haven't been paid for this. So apparently, he uh, did the voice for it and hasn't gotten the check yet. And I don't know when this game was put out. Probably early uh, early 2013. So yeah, he hasn't been paid for it yet. He said he was going to talk to his agent, but he was actually quite proud of this. He leaned over and showed some of the other signers there and said, look, I was a voice in this game. They haven't paid me for it yet. So uh, there you go. So he was, uh, yeah, quite happy to sign this for me. Like I said, really nice guy. Uh, Star Trek Enterprise, he's the British guy. I didn't watch that show. I watched some episodes. And I've seen all the other Star Trek episodes a million times, but I couldn't get in Enterprise. But, uh, yeah, Epic Mickey, Power of Two. It's the only my second Wii U game. Just to have no reason to buy these Wii U games. And I would never have bought this if I didn't get it signed. But, uh, there you go, guys. A couple signed games, a couple quick pickups there for you. Hopefully some more pickups to come. I'm working on a way to get some uh, get some video captured that doesn't involve me pointing a camera at the screen. Something a little more professional. Uh, working on that. Hopefully I'll be able to jazz up my videos and get away from this messy desk. That's pretty much where I do all my videos. So uh, look forward to that or not. It's all good. The truth is out there. That was nerdy. That was so nerdy. I'm sorry. Thank you for watching. That's more professional.